Hello, everybody. My name is Gio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round one of the Oricon Galactic Championship Qualifier. Super excited to be here. Thank you to everybody who is joining us as a player and as a viewer. This round, we have Matthew LaRoque versus Howard Benensky or Benensky, not sure. But uh, we have a little bit of resistance versus rebels. Today, I am joined by my good friend, James Ritter. He's right now running around, uh, riding the ship. He's my, he's my novice technician right now, keeping things from exploding, or at least trying. Uh -huh. he's, doing, he's doing the best he can. Yeah, but very, very novice, very novice. <laughs> And uh, and we're moving we're moving on from uh, from there. We have um, a great matchup here. Super excited! But before we go too far, a shout out to our patrons, the ones that make these events possible. Shout out to Kuat Print Yards. Use coupon code GSP for fifteen percent off. And thank you to all of our Galactic Championship participants. Would love to have as many X Wing players participate as possible. Super excited! All right. I'm going to go ahead and start breaking down these lists, but before we're doing that, before we do that, we, of course, need to do the most important thing, and that is open up that Choose Your Champion betting. Friends, we got it. We, we have to open up the Choose Your Champion betting. So that you'll see that pop up here in a second. Let's go ahead and start breaking down these lists. We're playing Chance Engagement. You got to be range two of the center, starting at range two, so that each player gets two points. If only one player is range two from the center, then only that one player will receive two points at the end of the end phase. Matthew has brought Poe Dameron. Which Poe Dameron do you own? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the trigger happy flyboy Poe Dameron. We got Heroic. We got R4 Astromech. We have Ferrosphere Paint. Remember, there's been an errata on that. We'll talk about that in a second. Proton Torpedoes, Overdrive, Thrusters, Munition Failsafe, Black One, which uh, one thing, James, that uh, a lot of people are starting to catch on late is that you, uh, you can slam now as your second action, which is wild. Absolutely wild. Oh, yeah. I, I am... I don't, I don't even know what to do with myself, James. It's just too crazy. Too crazy. Um, yeah, or you, you, could, uh, you could slam and bump and still get your second action. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But do it. I mean, they let you, so why not? Yeah, oh yeah you uh, can do it. <laughs> we have Chewbacca uh, in that YT-1300, able to do bonus attacks when friendly ships or himself go kaboom. We have Notorious, Composure, Ray, Contraband Cybernetics, and Ray's Millennium Falcon. Remember that Notorious trigger there allowing him to spend the charge to give the attacker a strain. And when he defends against a strained defender, you can reroll a blank result, giving Chewie some much-needed much needed offensive modifications. Ray, of course, on there. Doing the same thing her pilot ability does, giving you that flexibility. But you have actually a little bit more while you defend or perform an attack. The enemy ship is in your turret arc, which if you're a, one of these Falcons, you're going you're gonna to have people in your turret arc because you're firing at them. You can spend a force to change one of your blank results to an evade or a hit. I do think the stock on, on Ray Gunner has gone up, up, up lately because of that. Uh, we got Composure. Yeah, it, 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 it's hard Go ahead. to take Ray Gunner when Ray Falcon exists. Right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you're not taking Ray Falcon, uh, yeah. Yeah, great, great. great buy. That's right. Then for the Y-Wing, we have Wilsa Teshlo, Ion Cannon Turret. The, uh, what are people calling this droid? Larry? L4 Larry. E R5. At the start of engagement phase, you may transfer one calculate token to a friendly ship in your firing arc. Hey, buddy, you need a token? Here you go. We also got Bomblet Generator. It's a, it's a, a bomb that we don't normally see out there. But uh, fits nicely. Uh, will you? I believe is roll one die on hits take damage. Is that correct, James? Uh, I have to check, but I thought it was two. Is it two dice? Let's let's see. I just uh, I so rarely on, see bomblet generator. Oh yeah, it's it's a weird one. It's and then on a bomblet. It's a two attack dice, and you suffer 
a damage for each hit or crit rolled. Ah, damage on each hit or crit rolled. Okay, got it. Then we have engine upgrade, making the boost on that Y-Wing white and targeting computer, adding the target lock action. So, so that's yeah, of being, course... Being able to use the, yeah, the intuitive mm -hmm. interface to get a calculate after you do both of those actions. That's or either right. of those actions. If you listen to our last podcast, you heard us uh, arguing about this uh <laughs> this ability intuitive interface and how all those shenanigans uh may work yeah. or not work i think ryan's was the, was the, was the only one on the side that it didn't work but that's neither here uh, nor there yeah i i am uh i am not a fan of these y wings uh they are incredibly way too cheap right now uh three points for that incredible platform it has bombs it has a, a, a turret it has a droid it has boost and all for three points and seven health sounds tasty and on the the final ship here we have finn in that pod the ever so present hard-hitting predator heroic perceptive co-pilot co um that is how he is built out choosing to go with the predator there yeah i haven't seen predator on finn a lot uh, if not, but that's actually like it i mean it makes sense sometimes you need that extra reroll that's right and that is what we have on matthew's side just a note for when we get to howard howard does have the child and that is chewbacca and Finn that have the Merciless Pursuit tokens currently. Let's go ahead and move over to Howard, James. Yeah, Howard, uh, starting out at the top of the initiative. Here we have Hera Sendula in the A-Wing. Uh, rocking Swarm Tactics, uh, Elusive Fire Control Systems, and Concussion Missiles. So, uh, able to get out there, uh, throw those... Oh, did we lose James? Uh, for passing like a focus or a lock over to uh, Callus or Han. Oh. Um, or, or, or the and, computer uh, can explode. All right, we just lost uh, uh, connection. <laughs> That's all right. Keep keep it going. Keep breaking down the list, James. I got you. <laughs> I got you. We have uh, Han Solo in the uh, modified YT-1300. Uh, after you... Uh, after you roll dice, you get to re-roll uh, all your dice so you're at range you're one of an obstacle. Great ability. Has trick, trick Shot, K2SO, Novice Technician, Biston, and a Millennium Falcon title. Right at the list is a big old ship, Alexander Callus in the V100. Has Fire Control System, Dorsal Turret, Magva Yaro, and the uh, Child. So, Magva, after you defend, if the attack hit, you may acquire a lock on the attacker. And uh, the child... There's a force whenever you are damaged. Uh, unfortunately, he will have to uh, give out those uh, merciless pursuit conditions to the opponent. It looks like it went down on Chewie Finn. Uh, they're going to be able to uh, get free locks after they attack. But uh, pretty nasty list has two I sixes and a huge big old boy I two in Alexander Callis. We pro we brought it back to life. All right. So thank you for continuing to break down that squad there, James. People will have some fun on YouTube watching me panic. For uh, for about a minute and a half. All right, it's all right. We uh, we figured it out. Nothing bad happened. We're okay, mostly. All right, so we got uh, Mr. Overdrive Poe over here. He did a uh, did a little decloak, little two barrel to the right, trying to get on the flank here. Uh, both these players being a little um, a little cagey, James. Oh, yeah, especially for a game of chance engagement. Uh, but, I mean, with a three-ship list like this, I mean, you kind of have to be a little bit cagey. 
Mm-hmm. You probably want, I think, the and maybe it's the engagement that Howard wants to set up is leading with Callus. You have a, a zero agility ship that has the the ability to roll defense dice, right? While you defend, if you attack, you're modified. Any attack dice, you may roll one additional defense die. All right, so you, you have a chance to possibly defend, and most of the time, you have uh, players, you know, spending focuses or target locks to modify out there, plus a reinforce. Yeah, plus the reinforce, yeah. Um, and going to have a uh, focus or maybe an evade coming in from Hera. Mm -hmm. Man, I would be so angry if <laughs> this huge ship that should that should just lose health uh, does not lose health because he's been slinging evades. Right. <laughs> he just goes, uh, <laughs> one damage. <laughs> like, no, I put three damage into you. How are you only taking one? <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, today's uh, top stream prize, let me tell you a little bit about it, James. We are giving away s six, a box of Calamari Flan currency from Galaxy's Edge. Super when you say it like that, it just sounds like food. It does, because I, I will tell you, when when they said Calamari Flan on... on uh, on the Mandalorian, I was like, what? Flan? A milk-based delicious treat? Uh, and I was like, oh, he like slams down this money. I was like, oh, okay. Poor, <laughs> it's a form of currency. It's a form also of a form currency. Of currency in our world, too. Yeah, so, correct. You know. <laughs> I, I will trade you this delicious dessert for services, please. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'm in. But yeah, they, they look amazing. <laughs> they look absolutely amazing. Um... And when when I was when I was at Galaxy's Edge this summer, uh, th like that day, th they they were pull it, putting out the stuff. The lady's like, "Yeah, we had just sold out of these like two weeks ago. We just got them in." I was like, "Well, uh, mine, 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 mine." I just picked picked up a bunch of boxes, and they said, "Limit two of each, sir." And I was like, "Okay." And then uh, I just came back no. later. <laughs> it's like, well, I got some, and I got some more. Alrighty. So, how aggressive do you think Callus is going to be here? Uh, man, because you can come in hot here, uh, with really no uh, no punishment. I think, like, you come in, you, you take your lock, you have your uh, your force for uh, the the focus mod on your on your attack. Mm -hmm. I don't know if a three bank is great because it might hit that debris. But uh, and I think I think one more turn to being a little bit slow, just doing like a one straight, maybe a two straight, and uh, going from there and see, seeing how seeing how things land out because uh, Chewie's going to have to be pretty pretty aggressive to to, to turn in here. Oh yeah, 100 I think Chewie agree. may just like leave and like four straight kind of thing. I mean, there's no reason for, for Chewie to use... I mean, he can play Chewie the same way that Howard is going to play Han, right? Is We're just trying to... Oh, yeah. We're trying to use a side arc as much as possible. Oh. Well, well, he got aggressive. All right. Are we boosting... He got aggressive. Okay. I, I are mean, we boosting to the right here? Uh, Definitely could. Uh, just keep in mind, uh, the dial on uh, these Falcons um, has a, a one straight, two straight, and two banks for clearing those stress. But with that uh, raise Millennium Falcon title, you're able to still do sloops, boosts, and rotates uh, while you have two or fewer stress. Because mm -hmm. now he has to bet whether or not Han's going to be turning around that rock or going forward. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like if Han turns uh, hard two, um, is going to have a uh, pretty, pretty nice shot through that debris field, I think into Chewie there. But, and Han does have the trick shot here. Ugh, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. but we're setting up some... Tr well, uh, Han hasn't moved quite yet. There is a possibility. I mean, probably going to end up being obstructed. But uh, we're seeing the priority here for uh, for Matthews setting up target locks. Goes with a two bank. Okay. All right. Now he has to kind of make a decision here. 
of who does he lock or is he just goes for the reinforce? Okay. Yep, you just keep keep it coming, reinforce, make sure to have uh have the ship that you need. Like you Chewie's gonna have a shot on you, right? Yeah, oh yeah. You, you'll be able to get some mods from Hera offensively if you want it. Because you're taking down Chewie. If, if I'm playing against Matthew, any type of list like this, Chewie is the is the big hitter. Which I find this uh, this list really interesting. Because it's a variation on something that we did see at Gen Con quite a bit. We, had, we saw quite a few like Chewie plus a few Y-Wings. Uh, the inclusion... Ooh, Poe just out oh, of range. No. Just out, but the inclusion of Poe gives you a second, uh, a second end game piece. Rather than what was happening was with the Y wings, the the weakness there was the fact that the Y wings could go down pretty easily in the end game after you get Chewie gone. But now you got you got you got another end piece right there. What do you there. mean, Wil Wilson isn't the end game piece? Nah. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, uh, any any ship can can try to be an end game piece and and has a chance, you know, with that ion cannon just consistently ioning somebody over and over again. But yeah, you probably have a better yeah, better chance with Poe. Mm -hmm. uh, they can still try to get try to get arc, uh, but man, this uh, this Wilsa uh, constantly ioning you and then dropping bomblets on you over and over. Uh, wow, because could have could have five bomblets. <laughs> oh uh, no! Hold on. Oh man, no, that's terrible. Could have eight bomblets. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. All right. So Please we did do not do not bomb me. <laughs> <laughs> we did see Han make that big turn. Trick shot is active. Takes a cloak token. That that's that ain't right. Prop accidental click. Unless I'm missing something. I think that might supposed to be a focus. Yeah, okay. It's supposed to be a focus. <laughs> token to a to a gunfight? That's know. right. <laughs> Okay, here we here we see the sw uh, swarm tax is going to come into effect here uh, with Hera bumping up Callus. Ooh, dirty initiative six four dice gun coming in here. I mean, I'm assuming we're going into Chewbacca. Oh yeah. Here we go four dice. That's looking oh, good. Yes. Did he does he have a modifier? Oh yeah, he has two modifiers with the child. Uh. And the calculate. Yeah. I'm assuming he's spending the calculate there. Yep. Oh, That's yeah, yeah, three yeah. hits and a crit to get started here on Chewbacca. It is going to be two defense dice because of range three. Blank focus spend and takes three damage on oh, the no. onset. Ray's going to come in and say oh, no. I forgot I forgot about Ray. So just one, just a couple shields there. Not too bad. Yeah, Ray Gunner. Uh, and while you defend or perform an attack, if the enemy ship is in your turret arc, you may spend one force to change one of your blank results to an evade or hit. That is going to be a notorious trigger, so you see Callus now has a strain. Oh, there it is. So it means Chewie will have a reroll. Here's Han. Has trick shot to both targets. Again, assuming we're going into Chewbacca. Probably uh, going to yeah, Han that. that. But goodbye. Get out of here. Uh, that's a little bit better, but you don't really want to spend your focus because you want to be able to Biston, maybe. No, he's doing it. He's Let's doing it. it. Okay. Hit, hit, crit. The reroll on defense. We got a single squiggle. That'll be two, possibly. Yeah. Shield crit. Ooh, the first crit going in. Stunned pilot. Okay. Don't hit things. <laughs> Obstacles are bad. All right, Chewie, check in to see if he has Han in the arc. Nope, no, no Han there. Just uh, Callus. Also, want to point it out. I'm glad that Matthew did not 
spend Notorious. Uh, I'm seeing some people get a little a little too excited with their Notorious. Like, oh, I was attacked, Notorious, Notorious. Uh, you do have two charges, but if you know your target, like, save it for a turn where you actually might need both of those uh, both of those charges. That was a smart play here. Chewie getting two hits. But that's going to end up being only one shield because of that reinforce. And I think we have a trigger yeah, on the other side. Was strained. Um, so would get the one die from uh, the range bonus, but uh, no dice because of the strain. And then I think the reinforce reduces it to one. I think he forgot about uh, the reroll, though. He doesn't notorious give ooh. you a reroll. He he did. Mm hmm. But so, that would have given him another die. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're right. He has the evade right behind him. True, true, true. And it would have been an auto, auto evade, right? Because of Hera. Yeah. All right. So a smart, smart play. Didn't forget. Calculated? Question mark. We don't know. I think it worked out though, because you were trading a reroll for a guaranteed evade. I think it would have been. Would have worked out to one damage anyway. It would have. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're at a score of two to two. And we can't confirm we have the same as the players. It does look like, uh, if people are interested, it does look like Poe has uh, plenty of room to make a straight maneuver as long as he goes uh, speed two or higher over that rock. Nice. Depends on how aggressive you want to be. So... After an opening like we've had, you, Chewie was only able to do a single shield. You got a good chunk of damage, including a crit on the Chewbacca in the opening. Yeah. I mean, I do, do you – you have to go aggressive here, right? You have to choo choose a target, try to burn it down? Uh, Yeah. I mean, you really don't want to be taking any range ones from Callus, But, <clears throat> I mean – it might be good to do a uh, fast maneuver here. Chewy, let me, uh, excuse me, I just got to go answer a judge question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looking looking at the positioning right now, we said that Poe has the, the space for a two forward here to get over. One, two, yeah, we'll be fine. I guess the question is, uh, maybe my 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 math friends can can figure this out quickly. Is it better to go after Han or Callus? So Callus has reinforce plus Hera's evade once per turn, plus a potential defense die, versus Han who has one one defense die. Do we have the Falcon title? We do have the Falcon title. If Oh man, if Hera passes that evade, then he's got that single reroll. Man. Mm. That's a little tricky. Reinforce. Reinforce, evade, and a roll of a die. Or. one die that you can re-roll but if you're given an evade you can re-roll it again but it's only one it's probably easier to go into Han because of the lack of reinforce figure it out you, everything all, all good James oh yeah so James, I was just kind of head simming, going through whether whether it's a better choice to go after Callus or Han, and I think I've decided that Han is a easier target to burn down. But then you're of course you're ignoring the four die ship that gets into range one and and is shotgunning five dice at your face. Yeah, yeah, you got you got to you got to pretend to ignore that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't disagree with that. Um, I think Han could be. 
let's say let's say easier to take down, but way more difficult to track down. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, the, the positioning that, is part uh, of it, right? Yeah, he's he's very slippery with that boost. And first time caller pointing out uh, Han has the ability to bonus shoot. Correct. Yep. All right. So, oh, so Callus executing the three bank, not fitting there. Going to be at range zero of Chewbacca to start this turn. And he doesn't have any way to get actions after bumping besides the normal take a focus. Yeah. No, no, no standing is there. Uh, it's just going to. <laughs> Oh, you know what he did forget to do, though, is Magva. Oh, the turn before. We do have a missed Magva trigger. Mm. That's a hard one to remember, though. Yeah. That's like, you're, like, interrupting your opponent's turn to do so. so. <laughs> I'm going to stop you right there, but I'm taking a target <laughs> <lock>. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish, but... <laughs> All right, looks like Poe is n maybe flipping as foils. Not yeah, sure. Fo foils open. Focus. Are we just focus locking? Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, so it's like I've decided violence is the answer. Yeah. Can I tell you, like, <laughs> in, in so much of the TV and books that I've been reading lately – there have been oh, so yeah. many people using choose violence, and I've been like, y'all are ripping us off. We've had this for years. What is happening right now? Yeah, how did you... Uh, so I'm I'm listening to... Which one is it? The Shadows of the Sith? Yeah. And I'm reading uh, Brotherhood right now. Almost done with Brotherhood. Nice. Uh, but it is uh, pretty great so far. Yep. And Nano Antonio um, says yeah. copyright infringement. Yeah, we didn't. We never put it on a shirt or anything, so can't can't quite. No, we have no legitimate claim. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, a uh, lock coming down on to Poe from Hera. Uh, does she have? She does have the fire control system. That's going to be. A, oh, is she boosted? Oh, in? dirty. Oh Ooh no. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> is it? Mm. Maybe you just want to get out of the way of Han. Okay. Fair, I guess. Uh, but you, you know uh, you know yeah. who else can use that lock, right? Oh yeah. Uh Callus. Callus. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey big boy, you wanna you want you wanna five <laughs> dice target lock, lock focus shot on Poe? Yeah. It's gonna be pretty scary. Uh alright. Uh who who has the initiative? It's gonna be it's gonna be um it's going to be Matthew who's going to be shooting first with Poe. Ooh, it's range two. Okay. You know? Well, that's – I is that – that might be better, the fact that it's range two. Because that means that uh, Callus not... isn't slapping. Yeah, it's gonna, I was like, is he not going to use proton torpedoes? Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right, there it is. There's that – there's that ping. Proton torpedoes. Ooh, Ooh. terrible uh, roll. Single crit. Three blanks. Spend the lock. And Oof. feeling a little sad. I don't I don't think I spend the that focus a, here. I really don't think I would. A, that is a pretty sad proton torpedo. And because he modified, Callus is going to get a die. Doesn't roll. Is he going to spend anything uh, here? I think he just take the two. Spend, spend a force. Okay. He has to calculate on Hera if he wants it. Mm -hmm. uh, but may Hera may choose to keep that for her cushion missile into uh, into Poe. So spent the force and then took a damage. Uh, so got it back, right? Yep, that's how that works. Yep. Uh. And did not Magva again.
Target locks right, are so optional, bro. Obstru Ooh, Chewie is not obstructed. He must have turned a little bit somewhere along the way. And two hits and a focus after the re-roll so, from Chewie. Yeah, two hits coming in. Could spend a force here. He's debating. Your hand f floating above <laughs> above the force and is going to spend it. Uh, this takes just takes one. Could Notorious here, but like you said, may want to save it. Oh, there it is. There's the Notorious. Yep, just go ahead and... Because I think the other shots are going into Poe, so it's a... It's a more, more than likely, Chewbacca's not going to have another opportunity to trigger yeah. Notorious' this turn. And here's uh, M shooting at Poe, range three. Bonus attack. Yeah, Biston. Love it. Has a focus available. Doesn't need it yet. Probably uh, going to haunt it after the hit in two blanks. And that's... that's <laughs> that is better. Three hits. Uh, Chewbacca has... Three three defense dice. Uh, no, oh, this, this is Poe. This is Poe. Po. Sorry, I was looking at Chewbacca. Oh, yeah, a different target with Biston. And takes two damage. Okay. Hera. Now Hera um, is going to have probably end up holding on to that target lock to pass it to Callus. But has the has the fire control systems and a calculate. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Ooh. Maybe Man. if uh, if Callus uh, would have taken his own target lock, you would have been able to spend it yeah. here. <laughs> would have needed it. So a little little bit of a, that, that miss trigger Magva twice now. Spending it? Gonna spend it. Oh, I don't think that's worth it. Well, because if he hits, he gets to flip up Chewie's card. I still... Uh, nah, hmm. I don't agree. I don't agree with this decision. But also didn't didn't end up doing it. Just the fire control? Is that what is that what we saw? Ooh, it's gonna force a. F yeah, you're gonna have to spend a focus to not let that concussion hit, and then take a four die. Oh, uh, okay. All right, spends a focus. Yep, so no concussion. So uh, no Poe concussion. there rolled a blank and a focus, had a focus token, chose to spend it to, uh, like you said, avoid those effects from the concussion missile. Yeah, I does not want to flip up that uh, damage card on Chewbacca, which I, uh, I, I understand. And here we go, four dice. I think Ow. we just saw the double ping from Hera to Callus saying, hey, I'm going to transfer the target lock. No, don't spend it. Just swap it and then fire control. Got two evades on that one, so only going to take two. No critical damage. We're into the hole. Three hole left on Poe. Uh, yeah, that, that is uh, half points, though. Mm hmm. Because we are playing chance engagement. Chance engagement. Did they forget the bomb? They sure did. Oh, yeah. Oh, in range for uh, Hera. I don't think so. It has a little line. Oh, does it have a line? Yep. Oh, I don't see a line. Oh. Here's the roll. Ooh. Nothing. N nothing. That, the bomblets can do two damage, or they can do no damage. <laughs> <laughs> or nothing, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Wilsa's coming up now. 
Looks like we're going to go with the Ion Cannon. Do we know the target here? Do you think it's Hera or is it Callus? It's a, it's Callus. So going to try to start get stacking the, up those get ions. The evade die, though. Uh, Has a I focus mean, you might out. Might as well spend a force here because you're going to get it back. And takes two shields. Oh, actually, only one damage because of ion. It's so one damage, mm -hmm. one ion. One damage, one ion. That's gotcha. why you got to start stacking them up. Remember, those large base ships are not ionized until they get three. It looks like All Chewbacca's right, Chewie up here. next. All right, looking through targets. I mean, do you, do you take the range zero? No, on to Han. Mm. Range two. Oh yeah, no defense dice here. Strain from Notorious. Double crits. Oh, remember strain? This remembers the Notorious reroll this time. Mm -hmm. Takes three shields. So pretty solid. That was a good good opportunity there. And especially getting three. I was a little worried if you would have come up a little bit short there. Um, you know, you could have had a potential damage card into Callus there at range zero. And here we go. We have Finn, range two. One hit. And that's shields down on Alexander Callus. And with that, we have our next round. With end of round points, we'll end up at a total of six to three, sixty-three. And we are back to dials now. Uh, we've we're about halfway through the uh, the match here. And one of the things that worries me when you're playing against these large base ships with big, big chunky health is once you switch damage from one to the other, uh, you know you've you've lost a potential turn to uh, to to get that that ship removed from the table. So I'm glad that he was able to get three damage there, but it does it does make me go like, what if if you could have gotten? Obviously, we had the reroll and all that. If you could have gotten a couple damage uh, onto Callus, does that end up being a higher value? And I was I was talking to uh, to someone who plays a lot of World of Warcraft this weekend, or sorry, uh, sorry excuse me, last weekend, and um, and one of the things that that they told me. That we were just kind of randomly talking about a bunch of stuff was like the only they said the only hit point that matters is the last one and i was like huh i had never really thought of it that way obviously next wing we have crits and and things like that but um you know in in x-wing when it comes to to scoring at least in, in the three out of the four objectives you know if you can get, just get that large base ship to the end game uh, to the end of the game without being taken off the table all that damage you took doesn't matter so if your opponent ends up 
switching targets in the middle and then coming back to your large base ship that's maybe a little easier to hit. If they don't have enough time to take it down, that's a win. Now, of course, in chance engagement, we have half points, but you're still locking up the other half of uh, other half of that ship. Yeah. Sorry about that. Looks like we're ready for the next round. No worries. No worries. So uh, what what else happened here? Looks like they set oh, yeah. some dials and it's, it's it's party time. Uh, yeah, Callus took one more. Callus's shields are down. And that was from Finn. Yeah. What what did he end up rolling? I love seeing Finn rolls. Hit, uh, hit blank. Ah. Yep. <laughs> Not great. What a terrible Finn roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Finn, two straight. Hoping to catch Callus in the net. And no perceptive co-pilot on Finn. There you go, just single focus. <laughs> And yeah, Nano Antonio, that's that's exactly exactly my my point there is that you got to choose at the beginning of the game for those chunky ships. Are you gonna ignore them uh, or burn them? Like you you, you gotta you gotta pick because if you if you choose halfway through the game, you've probably made the wrong decision, almost no matter what. Here we go, Y wings. Banking takes that calculate. I wonder if, if Han's going to go to the outside or try to take the turn in. I don't think he has the space for the turn in. Callus ends up bumping again. Getting uh, bitten by road here a little bit with uh, Matthew being able to be first player for the first four turns in a row. Which is pretty crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like you, you think that like eventually, like I'll get it back. Right. <laughs> Sometimes you do want to move, for, especially with big bases like that. Mm-hmm. Oop! We're driving here. Ooh. Lock and then roll. Can't roll back because of the obstacle, but yeah, that is a great roll there. He wants it. He's like, well, what if I just try? If I try. <laughs> nope. I, Not going to work. It's red. Like, what if I did it anyway? <laughs> it's called hope. That's hopeful. Ooh, and uh, I love it. Yes, uh, pointing out here from Tron Man, Predator is lined up for, for Finn, so should help out with that. Gosh. Yeah. That's going to be huge. Han, keeping it simple, one straight, making sure his guns are on, trying to set up that trick shot. Might end up having obstructed to Finn. We'll have to see what the angle is. And Hera, zoomy zoom. Now, does this, does this Hera have... No, she does not. She does not have the vectored oh, she has, This cannons. is vectored thrusters. Hera. We'll see what the action is there. Could, could hand an evade off to Callus. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Uh, looks like she's going for the lock, though. Okay. All right. <laughs> and the bomb ends up hitting his own ship. Can can he half point his own ship? No, no. Okay. another dud. 
both the bomblets. So uh, just seeing here that the uh, bomblets can just do nothing. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> It's like, what if I just didn't? Yeah. What if I just didn't do anything at all? Uh, okay. Yeah, so it looks like uh, we see swarm tactics on Callus, but uh, once again, uh, we see Matthew with the initiative here, so here we go. Another proton torpedo here, or is that range one? One, range one. Range yeah. one. Four dice. Got the reroll. Blank to blank. Not not doing great with these rerolls. Uh, Rolls of focus there with Han. Reroll that with Han ability, which I think you probably will. I mean, it's free. There, there it go. is. Takes, takes two. That shields down on Han solo. Two damage. All right, range of one into Poe. This could definitely just take Poe off the board here. Poe has no defensive tokens. Here it is, big money. Four oh, yeah. dice. It's a big shot. Three hits and a blank. It's probably not going to haunt that one. Yeah. Guaranteed one damage. Heroic. Double blank, yes, heroic. Got a squiggle. Still takes uh, two, though. Takes two. Down to one. Heroic. Barely saving Poe there. Barely but, saving uh, You know how else has a range one shot? Callus with that turret. Yeah. Yeah, Callus with the doors. Mm -hmm. right, missed it. Range thin for dice. Four on four. Yep, he's going to choose obstructed in order to trigger that. Yeah. Uh, that trick shot. Okay. So that's four hits coming in. And what is Finn going to do here? Add a blank. So he'll add a, add a focus and spin the focus to take one. Nice. Wow. And what a mean little ship. That is half <laughs> points, though. It is half, yes. Mm -mm -mm. And half points scored there. Yeah, we got a score of three to seven. And it's going to be two hits coming in from Callus on the Poe. You need natties. Oh, oh heroic. Again. He's the devil. You're, you're, the looking, devil you're looking for the god the shot here. No. <laughs> Poe uh, goes oh. down. Yes, he does. That's going to be uh, another four points locked up there. Oh, Chewy. Ooh. <laughs> Chewie comes in with a big attack here. Bonus attack. Does get an action as well, right? Uh, yeah, it gets an action. What, what's the, what's the uh, action? He needs to take an action, though. Like He's he's done everything he needs to do. <laughs> Two hits. Has the lock. Got an additional hit out of it. We're sitting at three. Ray for Ray. four. Callus does get one of eight dice. Got the squiggle. Turns out Callus is from the spaghetti factory. Is taking three hits. And it's going to be down to seven hull. Remembers the Magvayaro trigger. 
So sets up that target lock from Callus on the Chewbacca. And that's going to be half points, 6 to 11. A lot of jockeying point wise this turn. All right, then she just gets to do 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 that again. Yeah, like what, what? Oh, look, look what I have here. It's another attack. Range one, and has the focus for another four hits. After spending the calculate, that's a blank. All four of those are sticking. You're bringing Callus down to three hole. Mm. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> and looking to get another one here. All righty. Yeah, it's just Finn has the opportunity there to it take is. out here. Don't mind if I do. Range one has Predator, has a single focus. Is that uh, a focus? No, that's a blank. blank. right there. So, I mean, out of focus, make it three hits, right? Yep. Hmm. Yeah, this is a, this one was a blank. It didn't end up mattering. Three hits. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Callus does go down. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Big swing there with Callus going down. We're getting that other half of Callus points added to the other side. It's going to be 10 to 11. That's how you close a gap, James. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big swing there. Um, I think after the round end, we're going to see 11 to 12. Mm-hmm. There it is. Everybody everybody got a, a dancing partner there. Now, let's go ahead and and take a look at where does each of the players need to go next? Am I if I'm if you were Matthew, you're you're playing the resistance. Are you going after Hera for points or are you going after Han? Uh, I think Han is going to be easier to get points from cuz you only need to do that's usually 13, so you need to do 7. You've already done 5. You only need to do 2 damage. And you get uh, four points, whereas if you do two damage to Hera, you only get two. Um, both of them will give you the lead in this scenario, but uh, going after Han is gonna is gonna net you uh, much much more points. All right. Well, uh, but you can't you can't lose Finn though. If you lose Finn, uh, you need to get Han's half. Yep. Yeah. You you need that that firepower. I know people usually uh, not huge fans of K turning with Finn, especially if you're, you know, you don't have any tools for that. He he essentially he's like a shark, right? He just wants to move in a straight line. Yeah. Or just like just like one bank. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh... Either way, it's gonna they're gonna have a hard time. Uh, he's gonna have a hard time to getting half from Han or Hera, because Hera still does have that elusive charge available. Oh, Jason's—he's calling for the sloop. 
The for Hera. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Sleep on Hera is pretty great right now. That I mean, would also fit you very nice. One hard, and barrel boost. Mm. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I do am here for this loop. Hmm. People are looking for lists. Let me go ahead and get that uploaded here, James. Give me a sec. Okay. Almost there, everybody. I know you guys really want your list. You're jonesing. You're jonesing. I wanna, they want to get their control F on. Right? How many of this? How many of that? Actually, I absolutely love when you guys uh, take take a look at that. So, Always adds a nice dynamic. And list. All right, you guys should be able to pull up your list now. All right, looks like Wilsa is going towards the top of the board. Might be time to start boosting. Nope, not going to Han. Going towards the bottom of the board. It's just going to go ahead and focus. Finn, looks like uh, Hera got a little cheeky. Went with it too hard and is going to end up in Finn's arc now. Evade boost and sitting probably at range one. The shark has a target. That sloop would have been money. I know people are saying the sloop. But of course it does give Hera a shot on Wilson. We'll see if it ends up being worth it. That's a crit and a blank from our first attack. Natty's coming in from Wilsa. No damage. Han Solo has some choices. Where are you going to go? You might go obstructed into Finn. Uh, looks like that shot will be our bonus attack. First going into Chewbacca. Trail mix. One of each. Hit focus blank. Probably going to haunt it here. It does. Able to get two hits. One evade. Takes one damage on Chewie. It's a half for Chewie. Oh, no. That's going to be 11 to 15. And we got that bonus attack going into Finn now. Destructed as well. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. Four dice. Trick shot. And 
Finn is currently strained, so we'll only have three. Oh, money has the focus spent for four. He's going to need all three here. Oh, he gets it. He's fine. All right, Strain. He's going to add the focus. Spend the focus. And takes only one damage. So good. Finn. And Hatton needed what? that, right, James? Needed that to What's live. It? Yeah. Yeah, needed it to live. I mean, I guess could have, like, there's so many good rolls for Ben. Like, there's only, like, one bad one. And it's, like, it's like blank, 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 blank focus. Like, that's the only bad one. <laughs> <laughs> one focus is bad. All right. Uh, Chewbacca going at Hera. Three hits. Oh, man. Shove a bucket full of dice. Ray. Uh, Ooh, elusive. take a sh take a shield. Oh, you have she has elusive. She has elusive. Oh, she sure does. That that is the play. You're just gonna spin the evade. Oh, Finn. Oh, and it's not bullseye. Uh, Add the focus. Take. Oh, that's going to be another four hits, guys. Yeah. Three hits and a crit looking at Hera. Yeah, need some good evades here. No! Oh, completely oh, blanked oh, out, James! Oh, elusive! Elusive, elusive save me? Is it gonna matter? Oh, Not today! Hera was just one shot! Oh my gosh. This spin. This spin! And, and with that, I hear so many people cry, The Sloop! The Sloop! <laughs> Uh, I guess that sloop's looking real good right now. Yeah, I mean, Finn could have gone, like, banked towards the bottom where the sloop would have been and she wouldn't have had a token from the beginning. But, like, the same thing could have happened. But it's just, like, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Oh, oof, oof. Mm -mm -mm. 17 to 16 Matthew Burr just pulls ahead <laughs> mighty Southside bandit says Finn just doing Finn things it's, it's true oh Nano Antonio finish her uh, very nice, very nice. Man, I, this this fin, uh, what a disgusting little ship! <laughs> it just like rides off into the sunset, right? Uh, I mean, Han can chase, but I mean, it's kind of a big deal, though. He is kind of <laughs> he did he did show off his big dealness mm -hmm. for sure. Small, yeah, small. Our decision here is to not take two damage on Han and to get rid of. Mm hmm. You know when when something like this happens, where like a ship, like a little transport pod, just like completely wrecks an A wing that's like supposed to be one of the most maneuverable ships in the game. I just I just yeah. imagine like Finn, he just like pulled the triggers, and Harris being all fancy and like spinning, and it just the timing lines up where the spin just like perfectly lines yeah. up with the lasers. Oh, and then yeah. kaboom. Pretty pretty rough. Yep. He was a stormtrooper. You never you never really know if you're hitting or not. Sometimes you do. Finn does have some force in him. Actually, spoilers for uh Star Wars Lego Summer Vacation. Alright. 
Finn, uh, Jedi, confirmed. Hello. Or Force user, confirmed. You can argue, I guess, if Lego is in canon or not, but <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> you can argue. Yeah. <laughs> Range two shot into Wilsa, obstructed. All right, I'm going to do the table or the global timer announcement here in a second, James. Oh, we're, we're at the global? Yep. Okay. We'll give these players an extra round because we did have the disconnect. We had what, what? What was that attack? Three hits. Three hits. Oh no! It's going into Chewy, right? Into Chewy. Yeah, he's only on two left. All right, notorious. Did it? Did it trigger there? Uh, he it, he did. He forgot about it. Oh no! And still able to make it three. Uh, <laughs> Two damage man. into Han. I'm not sure it's going to matter now with Han taking those two damage. That's it. 21 to 16. Okay. Yep. 20, 22 at the end of the round. That's, that's going to be it. Well, congratulations to Matthew LaRoque for locking that down. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J List, our Grand Admiral patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron out.